Today we're looking at linked files and how to bring linked geometry from Revit into Rhino. Now what I have here is I have a Revit file and in, in that file there's the curves, the site plan, which are in this file, in the project itself. And then there's three linked files, the main building in the center here and then building A and building B on both sides. And so we're going to look at, at how to bring those across and, and those issues surrounding that. So I'm going to jump into Rhino here. And uh, you can see here that initially, uh, let's bring up Grasshopper. There is a just the standard way of grabbing a cattle or a category here, go running through a filter, finding all the elements of this category, which happens to be site in this case and then grabbing all those elements and creating geometry. So that brought those all in, uh, as you'd expect. Um, because the buildings are all linked, the buildings don't come across in that. They're also not part of site. So the next piece of this is, is looking uh, for the document links. And I can go in here and I can find the query document links component, which is right here. And what this grabs, is it grabs the links out of the current project. And so there are three links. And, and a link has the, the file that's actually linked, its location, and a specific uh, identifier for this instance. So, so every link uh, has a, a location, has a file, and, and an instance that you can use later in this process. Also, in addition to that, you can have, uh, you get the documents themselves. So, so these are the documents. You can link a document multiple times. So you would get, you could get, potentially get multiple listings in here. And why this is important is I can use this to grab the geometry. So I'm doing a query elements here, but instead of querying the current document, I want to query each linked document. I want to grab the generic model out of each document and I can have as many categories here as I want, but let's do the generic one, filter it out, get the elements from each of these documents. And that's why you get a tree of elements. Then those elements get changed into geometry. And if we take a look at that here, you can see here that I actually got the three buildings. Uh, and so the three buildings came into to, to Rhino, but they came in at the coordinates that, that the building is in, in its own file. And so you can see here that the corner's at zero, zero. The back edge here is, is part of the X axis. Um, the, the, the bottom edge here is, is uh, the Y axis in the, in the Rhino file. And in, in, so in, in the Revit model, these, Kind of look like that by themselves but of course what we're really interested in is how these buildings line up in the site plan where they're linked into and so the way you need what you need to do is you need to translate you need to translate these buildings from their current location into the site plan location and the way you do that is you take all the geometry uh, that's coming out of those links and you run it through a standard orient uh, component from Grasshopper and so you want the geometry to come in here and then you grab the links themselves right the links know their location and orientation that for each instance of the that's linked into the file and you run that as a target I did have to graft it up one so that it's a tree just like the tree of geometry coming in and if we look at that you can see here that now the buildings are oriented properly and because we've now oriented the geometry to the links each link target and that's why you get them in a correct position so the most important part is you know query for your links uh, find uh, then query the geometry out of each link that you'd like and then translate or orient that geometry uh, in um, with with grasshoppers orient component and they'll come on the right place and if you bake all that together then that's you'll get that in the file I hope this is helpful